God placed the best things in life on the other side of terror. On the other side of your maximum fear are all of the best things in life. Welcome to the Speak Your Success Podcast. What's going on, successors? And welcome to the Speak Your Success Podcast. I'm your host, Jonathan Jones. And today we're here with another Monday motivation. That's right, my friends. I wanted to address this Mindset Mastery series for the second installment. If you happen to miss the first Um, Mindset Mastery that we rolled out where we dropped a clip with David Shands. Make sure you go back, check out episode 203. And we're talking about entrepreneurship being risky or having a job. Is that risky? Which is more risky? I don't know. So I would suggest you go back and check that out, episode 203. However, However, today... We're talking about your mindset is blocking you from manifesting the life you desire. Your mindset is blocking your manifest destiny. And I wanted to attack this topic specifically because how often do we have a dream? How often do we have a vision of something that we want to create for our own lives? And we get excited about it. We say, oh, I want the big house. I want the BMW 5 Series car. I want the wife. I want the husband. I want the partner. And a dog named Scruffy. However, that's where we stop. We say all of these things and then we get to a position where we say, no, no, John, that can't happen. No, John, that won't happen. So you know what? I'm going to stop while I'm ahead and I'm just going to quit right here and right now. Yeah, that's it. I throw in the towel. And when we do this, we're eliminating that vision. We're eliminating or diminishing that desire. And once your desire begins to be diminished, then that drive, that determination also begins to fall by the wayside. So today, I want you just to begin to think. What has your mindset stopped you from accomplishing? Really, write on the paper. If you're driving, then just think about it in your head. But if you're at home, grab a sheet of paper and draw a line down the middle. And on the left side, at the top, write, this is what I want. And then on the right side of the line at the top, right, this is what has been blocking and stopping my dream. And I want you to take some time and really look at what you're writing. Look at what's being said and look at what's stopping you. Because Will Smith said it best. He said, everything that we want is on the other side of fear. Everything that we want is on the other side of fear. Think about how scared you were to go to school the first day, leaving your parents. And then once you left them, you finally realized that, wow, school can be fun. I forgot that I left my parents at home 
And now I realize that I have nothing to be worried about. Think about the time that you were scared to approach a young lady or a young man and ask them out on a date. And then you took that step and asked. And now you all are going out this weekend. It comes to a point in time where we have to ask ourselves, is this fear that I have greater than my dream? Is this fear, being scared, being terrified, trembling, is that particular ideal going to stop me from achieving and creating the life that I desire to live for myself? Friends, if you haven't connected with us, I would encourage you to follow us on all social platforms. At SYS Podcast One is our social media handles. Or if you'd like to just personally connect with me, go to JonathanJonesSpeaks.com. And all my Instagram are my Instagram handle is Jonathan Jones Speaks. Twitter, Facebook, all of that. You can type in Jonathan J Speaks, and then my page will be the first one to pop up. And friends, I want you all just to be reminded and also encouraged that with the right information and also challenging our fear, ultimately by tapping into faith, this positions us to free our mind to now we can manifest what we desire to manifest because we're not birds, we're not cats, we're not dogs. So we have the ability to take an idea from concept to creation. But once again, everything that you want is on the other side of fear. We're gonna go ahead and close out. At the end of this episode, I'm gonna drop that Will Smith clip when he did the interview talking about everything is on the other side of fear. So you can check that out. And friends, lastly, if you haven't had the opportunity to check out my best-selling book process. Right now, we're giving away copies um, specifically because it talks about being determined. It talks about helping you grow your social capital. That's your relationships. It talks about you being educated, being a role model, being determined, and even being forgiving. Ultimately, this is a self-help guide to not just help you in business, not just help you in entrepreneurship, but this is helping you from the inside going out, strengthening that character, creating that level of integrity. So I would encourage you to click down the link. Man, I'm tired. Click down that link at the bottom. It starts off with speakyoursuccessacademy.com forward slash process to success. We're going to have the link down in the bottom. But friends, this is TEDx speaker and best-selling author Jonathan Jones reminding you to speak your success, believe in your greatness, and continue to create the life and business of your dreams. Why would you want to live any other way? Bye-bye. Three years ago, um, I went, uh, I went skydiving in Dubai, right? And skydiving, skydiving is a really interesting confront with fear, right? So, so I got, I got to stand up. I'm sorry, I got to stand up. I got to stand up. All right. So, so, all your friends, what happens? You go out. How you? Oh, sorry. Oh, I dropped my thing. So, what happens is you go out the night before. And you, you know, you take a drink with your friends and somebody says, yeah, we should go skydiving tomorrow. <laughs> and you go, yeah, we'll go skydiving tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. And you go, yeah. And everybody goes, yeah. Right. And you go home by, and you by yourself. You're like, mm. <laughs> right. And you're like, well, yeah, I mean, they, they was drunk, too. 
<laughs> right? So, so maybe, maybe they not, maybe, maybe, I mean, we don't have to go. We don't have to do it. <laughs> so then that night you're laying in your bed and you just keep, <laughs> <laughs> and you're terrified. You keep imagining over and over again jumping out of an airplane and you can't figure out why you would do that, right? And you're laying there and you have the worst night's sleep of your life, but you still have the hope that your friends were drunk, right? <laughs> So you wake up the next day and you go, you know, down and you say where you were going to meet and everybody's there. You're like, oh, um, <laughs> all right, all right, cool, 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 right? So you get in the van and you don't know that your friends had the same night that you had because they're pretending like they didn't. They're like, yeah, man, my uncle's a Navy SEAL and, you know, this is going to be great. I've been looking forward to this. And you're like, oh, my God, oh, my God. <laughs> And your stomach is terrible. You can't eat and everything, but you don't want to be the only punk who doesn't jump out of this airplane. So you get there, and then you have the safety brief. And you're standing there, and the guys will tell you, well, if the chute doesn't open, what's going to happen as you're doing? You, well, well, why the hell would, why, what could happen? <laughs> that the chute, the chute wouldn't open, right? So you do a thing, and what you do is your first jump, you're attached to a guy who is going, you know, he's going to walk you out. So you go, and you get there, and there's an airplane, and nobody's stopping. Everybody's still going. So you get onto the airplane, and you're sitting there, and, and you know, it's extra because you're sitting on some dude's lap, some stranger. <laughs> you're sitting on his lap. And it's like, you know, you're trying to make small talk. Yeah, man. You know. So you do, you be, you be jumping with people all the time, huh? You be, <laughs> right? You know? So, and then you just want to make sure, yo, you got, you got kids, right? You got people you need to see, right? <laughs> You just want to make sure he's serious, right? So you get in there, so everything's normal. So you fly and you go up, you go up, you go up, you go up to 14,000 feet, and you notice there's a, a, a light. It's red and it's yellow and green, right? So right now the light's red. So then you start thinking at some point the light's going to go green, but you don't know what's going to happen, right? And you wait and it goes yellow and the light goes green and somebody opens the door and in that moment you realize you've never been in a freaking airplane with the door open. <laughs> right? Terror, oh sorry, I'm spitting, I'm sorry. Oh sorry. No, terror, 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 right? So you go and then, you know, if, you're, if you were smart, you sat in the back so you don't go first, right? And then people start going out of the airplane. And you go, and the guy walks you up to the end of the thing, and you're standing, and your toes are on the edge, and you're looking out down to death. <laughs> and they say, on three. And they say, one, two. And he pushes you on two because people grab on three, right? <laughs> <laughs> right? And you go, and you fall out of the airplane, and in one second, you realize that it's the most blissful experience of your life. You're flying, right? It doesn't feel like falling, right? It's like the, you actually are kind of held a little bit by the wind, and then you start, and you, you start falling, you're falling, and you, there's zero fear. You realize that the point of maximum danger is the point of minimum fear. It's bliss. It's bliss. And you're flying. <laughs> right? And you're doing that. And then 20 seconds, 25 seconds, 40 seconds, and you have enough time to just kind of be like, oh, that's that building. I saw like that one. <laughs> oh, you can see the ocean. <laughs> right? You start doing all of that. And the, the lesson for me was, why were you scared in your bed the night before? Why did you, what do you need that fear for? Just don't go. Why are you scared in your bed 16 hours before you jump? Why are you scared in the car? Why could you not enjoy breakfast? What, 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 what did you need that, the fear is, fear of what? You're nowhere even near the airplane. Everything up to the stepping out, there's actually no reason to be scared. It only just ruins your day. You're, you don't have to jump. And then in that moment, all of a sudden, where you should be terrified is the most blissful experience of your life. And God placed the best things in life on the other side of terror. 
On the other side of your maximum fear are all of the best things in life.